friends. So today we're gonna be getting a little bit crafty. As some of you guys know, I do live in Nashville and I have an apartment here and even though I'm not really that good at it, I love buying stuff and putting stuff in my apartment, but I am on a little bit of a budget because I am still a college student. Managing your money and budgeting is really tricky in college because there's just so many things that you wanna buy and so many things that you wanna do. So many places you wanna eat out too. I'm always thinking, you know, how can I save a little bit of money in that area or maybe make something myself to kind of replicate something that I would buy. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing in this video today. So a little bit of a backstory. I've had this black trunk since literally freshman year. We bought it for my freshman dorm to kind of give me some extra storage. I usually put like my school books in there because my dorm room, you guys know, like freshman dorm rooms are tiny. So I've been wanting a coffee table for the longest time, especially since I have this couch here. I kind of wanted to just like break up my living room a little bit and put something in the middle. But like I said, gotta be careful with my money. So I was like, why don't I just use my trunk, but kind of repaint it and sand it and age it and make it look like a treasure chest almost like an old trunk you guys know what they look like they're in like all those old movies and you see them in antique stores and stuff and like if you would go to an antique store or something like a new trunk would be very expensive i like for a while like went on pinterest and youtube and like looked up a bunch of different ways people like repaint trunks and stuff and i was like hey i can do that you know i went to michael's and i asked the people there i was like hey i want to repaint this ugly black trunk that i have helped me and they were like we got you like this is the aisle that you need to shop in and I have a painted trunk now so I thought for this week's video I would just film it for you guys I know that this is obviously a beauty channel but because I am such a like an artsy creative person I thought that this would be a nice little change to incorporate on my channel to kind of break up the beauty tutorials and keep in mind like you don't have to use this just on a trunk like if you're repainting like honestly anything like if you want to repaint a desk or if you want to repaint like I don't know bar stools I'm just like looking around my apartment and seeing what else I have in here I got these like sconces at literally Walmart the other day and I took some of this teal paint that I used on the trunk and just kind of like went over it to make it look like a little bit aged like I did with the trunk and it looks so good and they're on my wall over here and now there's like a little bit of turquoise on them it looks kind of like old-fashioned and like vintage now as opposed to like stark black so anyway if you don't have a trunk maybe you've wanted to repaint something else in your house or your apartment wherever you are people ask me like what I do at night because you know I live alone and they're like don't you get so lonely and I'm like literally I find so many things to do like I freaking repainted a trunk until like 2 a.m. last night like but it's so fun to me so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope it's entertaining for you guys to watch I think it turned out super cool I love the way it looks and I technically still can use it as storage because it still obviously works like a trunk so I can put all my old school books and like extra stuff and everything inside it and it's extra storage and also a coffee table so it's great anyway without further ado let me show you how I repainted my trunk so this is what my trunk used to look like so the first thing I did was just take a damp cloth and I wiped down the whole thing to get off any dust or stains or anything that was on it just so we have a clean surface to work with then I put garbage bags under the four corners so I didn't get anything on my rug so like I said I got my paint and everything from Michaels but you can definitely order it online and I will have that linked in the description bar below if you want to use the exact colors that I do so I knew that I wanted my trunk to be teal so I also got this brown color to do the first coat so that when I sand it um, the color underneath is brown rather than black so I picked out this brown color called Java and the teal color um, is called Cascade I also picked up this wax the lady said I needed it um, to kind of seal the color in and then I just picked up these super cheap brushes to apply the color so I'm gonna start with Java which is the brown and I poured it into a bowl to make my life easier and I painted everything including the hardware um one because it's really really hard to avoid the hardware um but also i really liked how um it kind of made it look a little bit aged so it wasn't like super clean hardware and then a, a rustic looking trunk so then what i did is i took a few damp cloths and i went over the hardware to kind of clean it up a little bit and 
just kind of style it how I wanted it to look when it was finished. I went, yeah, I just went over the hardware and honestly just polished it a little bit. Took some of the brown paint off because if you try this, you'll see that it is very hard to avoid the hardware anyway. And I mean, I like the look, but it is very hard to avoid it. So I decided to just go over the hardware and kind of clean it up a little bit and you can see it looks much better. So then I waited about two hours for it to dry and then I went in with the blue color. And as you can see on the top here, I made it very opaque. So none of the brown is showing through but if you'll see like when I get to the front I actually didn't put as much paint on my brush I was really just experimenting honestly and I love the way this came out I just didn't put as much paint on my brush and just kind of like you know put the color on a little bit more sparsely and made it look aged without even using sandpaper so um, I actually love the way that this turned out. I just kind of put my brush wherever my heart desired for it to go and just did like lighter strokes and didn't even need to use sandpaper. And then I took one of those damp wet uh, cloths again and went over the hardware so that there's not as much blue on the hardware. If you try this out, you'll, you'll know that it's very, very hard to avoid the hardware. That's why I didn't really avoid it with the brown, but I liked the brown on it. I liked more brown than teal. So, um, while the paint was still wet, I went in with that damp cloth and made sure to clean up as much blue as I could without removing the brown. So then while it was still wet, I took the sandpaper and sanded the top to make the top look more aged. There's absolutely no reason why I, you know, wasn't as sparse on the top. I was just honestly experimenting, but the sanding made it even with the rest of the trunk anyway, so it's totally fine. And then I still took sandpaper to the rest of the trunk because I just wanted it to look even more aged, and I think the sandpaper achieves that look perfectly. So then I actually let both of those colors dry overnight, and I went back the next day and did a final coat of wax to seal it off, and that's the finished trunk. So that is how I repainted my trunk. I hope you guys found that somewhat entertaining. I'm sorry if I bored you to death if you're not interested in this kind of stuff at all. Thanks for being loyal anyway. I'm definitely planning on doing an apartment tour in the near future. There's a few more things that I want to do to my apartment, but in the next month or so, I will definitely be giving you guys a full apartment tour of my apartment here in Nashville. If you guys are interested, of course. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're getting super close to 100,000, which is so exciting. So it would mean the world to me if you guys went underneath this video or on my channel and hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to follow my socials. Everything will be in the description box below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, even if you didn't care at all about the fact that I repainted my trunk in my living room. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye, everyone.